Hi, my people. You're welcome back to Physique Court Fashion House channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. And as many that are yet to do so, try and subscribe. Thank you. My name is Fola. Today, I'll be teaching you how to make oblique collar one shoulder dress with a keyhole. And all you need for this uh, your fabric is always good. You use the stretch material. You need your templates. I'll be using these uh, templates to do the keyhole. And then I choose to use something like a over shape. You can choose to use any shape like a love shape, a circle, or any other shape of your choice. And then you need your cuff, your ruler, and any other thing. So let's go. To, to make our pleat collar, you it's better you use a stretch fabric. You can see how stretch this is. Let it be on foot. Then the half length we are working with is a 17 inches. So now the hammer line we are using is a eight inches so this is it then we get the shoulder the shoulder is a seven and a half we're working with shoulder seven and a half the hammer length is a eight a eight inches then we we rule it the boss point of the person is a ten and a half. The boss point, ten and a half. I rule it. Breasts are part of the person is a eight divided by two give us four. So we mark four here. So you get the breasts are part. Here two, that's a four. Then you connect it because we are going to be using princess cut uh, that method for this hour of click color. So having done that, we measure our bust. The bust of the uh, the bust I'm working with is 32. 32 divided by four gives us a uh, eight. I get my height. Then I use him allowance of two because we are doing a princess uh, dart. By the time we cough, we get the princess dart. It will consume some fabric. So to be on safer side, we use two. You can even use two and a half in this uh, bust part. Then we won't get our neckline yet. So we get the, we move to the waist now. The waist part. The waist I'm working with is uh, 28. So 28 divided by 4 gives us a 7. So this is 7. I get a seam allowance of 2 inches. Now to take care of our princess uh, that now, I do my shoulder slope of uh, 1 inch. Then I get the midpoint of the remaining, which is a three and a half. So I get it like this. So this is a um, boss point. So on this boss point, I come down by one and I come up by one. I come up by one. I get my under boss length. The other bust length I'm working with is a uh, 13 and a half. So here now, I call me by one and a half because I'm working with a uh, uh, the bust 32. Then with 20. if you are working with somebody like a, a bust 36, you can call me by two. But for this one, I'm calling him by one and a half. So whatever you call me on this uh, underboss length, 
that's the same thing you will come in in the affluent uh, region here I come in by one and a half then I connect it I connect it like so then I use my French cuff to connect it to this uh, point where you come down from your boss point where you come down by one you use your French cuff to connect it like so so now you now use your French cuff to link from this uh, come up by one you use it to use your French cuff to connect it to this uh, uh, armor midpoint I think you can see it then you can see that I move out by like a one or so here so on this point now you come up by half then you come down by one we want to use this one now to shape the to save this uh, our ham hole so that the ham hole region will not be opening we want it to key very well to our body so that's the essence of this so we now form another dot on that dot on that point yes then here now this one and a half that we come in with here we are going to replace it here because by the time we cut it off, it will, it will make us to have a shortage of fabric. So we have to replace it one and a half before we now connect it to the bust area here, bust region. Yes. Then you now use your French cuff to finally drawn out your your hammer you connect it from this where you come down by one yes so now the next thing to do in your neckline is to get the wideness of your neckline which is three then you notch it when you are cutting it. Then you get your, you have gotten your soda slope, which is one. Then you link it to that three inches. Then you cut it. Here yeah, now. As I'm cutting, you can see that I cuff my hand so that this place will not be too sharp. It is after joining front and back together before you will finally draw out your, your neck line. We have not formed in the neckline, we have not formed our keel. So this is the front cut now. So we want to go for the back cut. Now to make the, I mean to cut the back of our oblique collar. This is the uh, body pattern of the back. This is the, this is the hammer line. So the next thing to do now is to get our bust. The bust we are working with is a. Uh, um, 32 divided by 4 8 as we have said earlier then you get 2 inches for your seam allowance there for the for the waist you know the waist is a 28 divided by divided by 4 give us a 7 28 divided by 4 give us 7 then you divide that 7 because of the dart so that 7 divided by 2 give us a three and a half, then you get your that of one inch. Then you get that three and a half again. Then you get two inches seam allowance. So on this uh, that, this one inch that, you share it, you divide it into two. 
equal parts, which is a half half. So on it now, you come up by six. From that center, the midpoint of your one, you get you come up by six. So which means that your that points that you come up by six have to be four inches away from this line. And this is the this is this is supposed to be zipper allowance, but we are not putting our zipper at the back, we are putting it by the side. But we have to shape our back so that it will key to the back. So we measure three quarter. Three quarter, we rule it down. So we are going to come out by quarter. That's 0 0.25. Then we connect it to the hop part. Slantly. So that's what we are going to. We are going to cut this out to make our dress to lay very well at our back. So that is for that, but we are not putting zip here. Our zip is going to be by the side. So we get our shoulder slope, which is one. Then we get the center point of this. So on this center point, we connect this like so. Then we use our French cuff to connect it to this uh, point, just like this. You know, there is no breast at the back, so we are not considering any breast point or whatever. So this now, we are going to, on this point, to, to save our hand mold now, so that it won't be opening by the side so we come up by half then we come down by half then that form another that we're going to cut this away so that by the time we join our arm hole it won't be opening so then we now use our french cuff to finally draw out our hammer now from this point to the bust similar then we connect from this uh, bo the bust to the waist now So for this, uh, for the bust that I'm using two inches, if you are using any fabric that is not stretchy, it's always, it's advisable you use uh, like three inches as your seam allowance there. But because this material is stretchy, that's why I'm using just two inches. So the next thing is to cut now. Let me just this shoulder slip. So this is the back cut of our complete collar. So the next thing is to go and join this. We we'll join the that part, then we join the front and back together. Now you can see that we have joined our princess uh, that together, and everything is we cut it two two because. We are using the same fabric to do the lining, both for the front and for the back, for the fact that uh, the material is stretchy. So in order not to lose the stretchy uh, effect, so we have to cut uh, the lining. We have to use the same material to cut out the lining. You can choose uh, to use slide craft for your lining. So, but for this uh, video, we just use the same material to cut the lining. So, 
Now, the next thing is to cut our oblique uh, collar now. So that's the next thing, the next thing to achieve now. Now, to draw our oblique collar line now, you make use of your French uh, cuff. So having notched your fabric while it was on fold by three, you know, the wideness of the neck. So that's notch. Now this is it. So you now place your French cuff, let it meet one of that uh, notch. Depend on the side you want your, you may choose to use this side, you may, so I'm using this side. So you now draw it to go and meet your armpit now. So you have placed both uh, front and back together because you are going to cut the two together. So this is, this is what I'm going to cut out now. Because this notch now, this is the what you will use to now join the uh, shoulder of the front and back together. Make sure you are cutting both uh, front and back together so that the two will be aligned. So the next thing to achieve now, you know, this is our shoulder point now. So we want to achieve our keyhole now. This one is applicable to only the front. So I'm going to place our templates at the midpoint of this now. So I will now draw on it. I will gently use my chalk to draw it on the fabric. Yes, this is it. So the next thing is for me to go and sew on it. I will sew on it. That is, I mean, I said it's applicable for only the front now. So the both the lining and the the main uh, fabric, I will go and sew on it this way before I now cut it out. So that's the, what I want to go and do now. So now you can see the outcome of our oblique uh, collar. This is it. This is the front. I join, I join the side, this side that we have to place our zipper. That is the left side. I join a little bit so that the rest will be used for the zipper. Then I now join the neck. I join the neck, then I top stitch. So before I join the shoulder. So before I join the shoulder, I have to, the keyhole that I've sketched out from inside, I sew it round, then I cut it. I cut the inner part. Having done that, I now join the shoulder together, the front shoulder to the back shoulder. So thereafter, I join the side, the right side, my fabric to fabric, line to line. So. Then I now join the um, armor together. The only thing that remains now is to fix the invisible zip by the side. Then it's optional. You can put the rose here. We put just to attract uh, more beauty, but it's no mandatory. So now our oblique uh, collar dress is ready. You, are, you can see how neat it is it's, uh, with a keyhole and uh, see the inside, very neat. You can see how perfect it is uh, sewn and neatly made. That's the inside. This is the front part. This is the half length bodies. You can add any damn part of your choice. You can choose to make it jumpsuit or bob gown or short gown. I'm sure you have learned from this video. Please like, comment, and share the video. Also subscribe to this channel. Thank you.